Today, let's make a super easy chickpea salad wrap. To start with, into a bowl, put one can of chickpeas, drained, and then we want to take a fork and mash those up. You don't want to completely mash them, but you want them mostly mashed. Yes, of course, you can use dried chickpeas and rehydrate them however you like. I'm making this super quick and easy today, so that's why we're using canned chickpeas. And since this is called a chickpea salad, not a chickpea mash, you want to leave some of them pretty solid. You know, I go for like a 60-40 or so when it looks like it's pretty well mashed up. Set that to the side. Next up, one stalk of celery. I do want to just chop this small, so it's like a fine dice. Once the celery is all cut up, add that to your chickpea bowl. And at this point, if you wanted to, you could add, you know, some diced red onion or other veggies like that. I'm keeping it a little bit simple today. The onion can get a little hot because it is going to be raw. And then just use that fork again and just kind of mash everything around, get it mixed in really, really good. Okay, time to make a sauce. For today's sauce, I'm gonna be using hemp seeds. Now you could use cashews, you could use sunflower seeds, whatever you like. Uh, we are using three tablespoons of hemp seeds. And also to the blender, I'm going to add two tablespoons of the only mustard that exists, and that would be golden spicy brown. I'm kidding, of course, you can use whatever mustard you like. We're also going to add a half cup of unsweetened soy milk. You could use pretty much whatever dairy-free milk you like. I like the soy milk. It just seems to have a little bit of a sweetness to it that really works well. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. One tablespoon of nutritional yeast. One tablespoon each of garlic powder and onion powder. And some fresh cracked black pepper. Derica really likes black pepper, so a few more grinds for Derica. Put the lid on, take it for a spin. Once it's all blended up, we have a lovely mustardy mayo style sauce that now we add to our chickpeas. I don't like to add all of it at once, just in case I add a little too much, because then you make, you know, chickpea salad soup, which is, oh, I don't know that that's a good thing. And we just mix it up real good. You want it to be moist, you want a decent texture, you want it to be sort of spreadable, but you don't want it to drip out all over the place. Like, this doesn't look like it's going to, uh, to drip much at all. So, now we have our chickpea salad. What are we going to do with it? Let's make a wrap. To make our wrap, I'm gonna add some tomato and some lettuce. So I'm just going to slice, this is like a third of a tomato, just make some nice slices out of it. And then a couple pieces of lettuce, and I'm just gonna kind of roll them up, kind of like how you do a chiffonade with basil. And then I cut here, cut here, and then I can just kind of chop it up. You don't have to be super neat about it, you just wanna get it done. I'll just move those things to the side a bit. We get out the lavash. I love the lavash bread for this. It's just a nice size, pretty big. Let me see if I can get all that on camera. There we go. Move those tomatoes just a little bit more. Okay, this is a really simple thing. Three steps. First step, get your chickpea salad on the lavash. I like to stay about an inch to an inch and a half from the ends, otherwise, I mean, you can guess what happens. Then, some tomato slices. Notice the shape. There's a reason for that. They work really, really well. And you can put like, you know, that many on there. And then the lettuce, just drape some lettuce over the top of this. And now we wrap. For that, I just roll it over, get it to the other side, pull back a little bit, not too tight. You don't wanna break the bread. And then roll the rest of it over just kind of keeping it tightly together. Now, we have our wrap. And now that I've made it, time for taste. 
it's lovely. There's a nice crunch from the celery and the lettuce, and then you got the tang from the mustard. It's got a creaminess from the chickpeas and the sauce. Just wonderful. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. See you next time on The Bistro.